Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Adobe has updated the export mode to give us custom export destinations. All right, so a lot of users don't like the export mode. I actually really like it. And one of the things that, that people have wanted in the export mode is being able to save multiple custom destinations. You could do this before, but it was only remembered for that sequence, which is very odd. Now it's saved all the time. It's a global setting. Let's go have a look. So in the top left, I have my sequence that I want to export. When I go to export, I can see all of these default settings. So I'm going to create a new custom destination. That's the custom destination there. And I'm going to turn the other one off, turn this one on. And I'll pick uh, H.264 for this one and just do high quality HD. And I'll rename this. And I'll create another one. So I'll add another custom destination. I'll rename this one. ProRes 422. And change the format. And if I don't see the, the right settings in here, I can go to more presets. And I'll look for 422, ProRes 422. This one, I'm, I don't want to export out an MXF. I want this one, 422. There's all the settings. Of course, I could import uh, any new presets. Click OK. Now it's Apple ProRes 422. So I've got these two custom destinations. And of course, I could add any other uh, destination. So if I wanted to go to, to YouTube at the same time, I could do that. The location here is part of, of, the, uh, of that preset. So now when I hit export, I would be exporting to both of these locations at the same time. All right, that's great. They're sitting there. This used to be just for that sequence. And if you opened up a different sequence in the same project, these destinations would disappear. I'm gonna close this project, open a completely new one, and let's see if they're there. Let's open this one where I was having some fun with face warping. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever release this tutorial, but I was having fun with faces. Anyway, um, go back to export. There they are. This one is automatically selected, so I'll deselect that one. But I can now go out to both of these. And if I wanted to, I could change the location of where th these we're actually going to be exported to. I hit my export button and they would be exported. I know, pretty simple, but it could be the kind of thing to get you to start using the export mode more. I don't know, I can't speak for you. I did do another tutorial where I showed how you can bypass this and I'll link in the description. If you want, you can still bypass this completely and go all the way to Media Encoder instead of exporting through the export mode. I like it. I like a big preview. I like being able to play the file. Um, I like the it source and output information directly. Uh, and remember, if you are creating specific uh, formats, you can make as many presets as you want. You can make the export mode really customized and, and working for you. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more, you can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. 
Donate once or monthly, any amount. Thanks to all of our wonderful donors. We really do appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to keep looking at the new feature list that Adobe is coming up with and turn it into what I think is a useful tutorial for you.